Alrighty guys, I'm going to try this voice over here and see how it goes. Uh, right here what I'm showing you uh, is just how dry it is in my area. We haven't had rain and I couldn't tell you when. I mean, ponds have dried up, creeks have stopped running, grass is basically non-existent. I mean, you can just, you can just look at it and tell it's basically, basically turning into a desert. And when that happens, it makes hay prices go through the roof. Um, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk to you about before this video starts, um, I've been taking a little short clips here and there along the summer for this video here of me raising a garden. And I've been doing it now for a good four months, I'd say. And when I went back through and put it all together, uh, it made me realize how fast the summer went by. I mean, it just went by, you know, like this. And, <clears throat> you know, like the old saying, life is but a season. And it really is true. Because life will pass us by just like a season. And when I think about it like that, you know, if you live to be 200 years old, and 200 years to some of you may seem like an eternity, but it's not, it's just a drop in the bucket. But when I think about it like that, it makes me want to enjoy every moment of every day. Even when it looks bleak, looks grim, you know, try to find something good every day and enjoy it to the fullest. You know, enjoy it while you can, so to speak. So, you know, just trying to live each and every day the best you can and to the fullest. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Comment if you like. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, and as always, later. see here we got the garden worked up here sorry you couldn't see it because the foam fell over and I got the tomato plants here planted and I got my pepper plants up there and I'm gonna put my beans corn beets 
sweet potatoes, yada yada, squash, zucchini, cucumbers. Usually what I do is just, I dig me a hole. Of course, I set me a string so I get a good straight line. I dig me a hole, put the plant in there, cover it up, and pour water all the way around it. And this little guy here, uh, I'm afraid the strain is more than he can bear. Some of y'all know what uh, movie that's from. Because he's no daisy. He's no daisy at all. And these are a better boy. They're an all-around cannon, juicing, sauce, eating. They're kind of a Heinz 57. It's on. No, it's not on. And then up here, we got jalapenos. Just two of them. We got our green bells. Spicy red bells and sweet bananas. Well, I have to say, uh, this is the puniest garden I've ever raised or raising. Uh, when I was on vacation, the deers got in here and eat most of my corn and a lot of my beans. And pepper plants, they're not doing a, a whole lot yet, which they're kind of a, they won't take off until it gets really hot. This year I'm trying a new uh, method of tying up tomatoes. What I've done is I've went in between every second tomato, will actually be a third tomato, and uh, throw a post and take string and just run it down along the edges, wrap it around the post two or three times, go to the next one, and go up to post as the tomatoes grow. What this does is puts a, a gap in between them and the idea behind it is that you keep all the branches up on this as it grows and it kind of keeps them just however they want to grow. Instead of tying each individual tomato up as it grows. So I'm going to try this uh, I do know a lot of commercial growers do this, so why not? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, finish up this garden video that's been going on for a few months here. Um, it is now harvest time for the garden, and it's all grown up. Uh, the weeds are taken over, which uh, generally I let it do that. Just uh, usually you get busy, but you know, once everything's ready to be harvested, um, I usually don't fool with it anymore. Just because, like beans, you know, they start getting their little runners, and you don't want to disturb them or anything like that. Um, the tomato trellis that I did this year I will call a success um, they need tied up one more time um, and that'll that'll do them because see how they're kind of growing out to the side now one more run about here I'll take care of it and that'll be the end of the tomatoes because you can see there a bunch of them are ripening and what I'm dealing with this year is minrot. I can find an example that right there. And that is usually because of inconsistent rainfall. Look at that thing. Now that's a butte, Clark. These are the Blue Lake bush beans. Um you can see they are ready to be picked the weeds just basically took everything over down here which there's nothing you can do about it because cucumbers and you can't disturb the vines or step on them or anything because you'll hurt them um, but next year I will do plastic on cucumbers just to avoid this pepper plants did really well this year. Um, I hate to say it. Well, I don't hate to say it, but um, 
some of them wasn't what they said they were. Oh, and one that I wanted to uh, let you in on. This year I tried the all natural garden. And uh, let's go this way. And if some of you don't know what that is, what the all natural garden is, is no fertilizer, no pesticide, nothing. It's basically you plant it, um, you take care of it the best you can, and just whatever it produces is what it produces. Uh, so I tried that this year. No, no organic fertilizer, no pesticide, no organic pesticide, nothing like that. See how it's got holes in it? Generally, you look on the underneath, you'll see a little yellow bug. A Mexican bean beetle, they will destroy a bean patch just in a matter of days. Uh, but this year, I have not been plagued with them. Um, but the last year I did plant beans, which is three years ago, uh, they absolutely ravaged my bean patch. Even spraying them with uh, pesticides. I try to use organic pesticides for good measure. Uh, but nothing really, it, it slowed them up, but it didn't stop them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest these beans today, which I'm just going to pick them. Turn them up like that and pick them all off. There they are. That's the Mexican bean beetle. 